What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video and today I'm bringing you the most wanted Dominic Calvert-Lewin poster that I made a couple of days ago. So basically this is a free flowing sort of minimalistic design. Now it's got a little bit of um, details that you need to learn like a few new techniques. There's dodge and burn, there's a few shading uh, techniques I'm going to teach you and then obviously you need to manipulate the background so it fits in with the design. But all of these are going to be really simple so I'm just going to cut straight to it and get straight into the video. Hope you enjoy. If you do leave a like and subscribe it really helps out the channel and I love all the support from you guys let me know in the comments what you thought of the video and let's get straight into it okay guys so first things first you're just going to need to go download the texture pack that we've got so it's something really simple you know link down in the description below just called calvert and textures now um there's going to be three images in here so the first thing you're going to need is the background so that's what we're going to begin with so if you go create a new layer so this is going to be instagram standard so 1080 by 1350 and we'll just click ok with that then what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our texture pack and basically go and grab the background so what you need is the stadium and you need the sky so we'll go and drag both of these in, just drag and drop them in. And just like that, they're in there, but they're turned off. So we've turned them on. Um and then we can turn the sky off, sky off for now. So we're just gonna set out the stadium. So realistically, you want this quite big. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make it big enough so I can't see that flag. Then I'm gonna move it down so it's about there. So what you want is to have enough of the stadium in the background, but to obviously keep in some of the pitch as well, just so it doesn't look like he's flying when he's uh, in the design. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna add a layer mask to the uh, stadium and we are gonna go and get a soft brush. So now you want this brush quite big um, and we're just gonna sort of paint away the top of the stadium. So we just wanna make it nice and hazy. Again, with this, I am going to move the stadium down a little bit just because I feel like it's a bit too, you know, too, um, uh, you're not going to see enough of the sky, basically. So we've got that now. So we've hazed out the top. Just, just using a simple layer mask. Make sure you've got the full, all the top blacked out. And then what we're going to do is we're going to turn this layer on here. So as you can see, now that I've... Uh, sort of layer masked out the top you can see that the sky is blending through into the design so what you need to do with that is you need to basically just go and uh, fade out a little bit more maybe not that much you just want to be able to see just about the top of the stadium and then that should be good um, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a saturation layer to the sky just so it matches the stadium a little bit better just so it doesn't look too different basically so go to your blending options down here go to hue and saturation and then it's going to pop up on the side here and then we're just going to reduce this to minus 15. We've reduced the sky to minus 15 it's not too penetrating anymore so it's just really simple not too hard to do this is really a, a simple design you guys shouldn't have any problem with this after watching my other videos um so we got that done now what i'm going to do is i'm going to add some layers to this so i'm going to add a curves layer to the stadium just going to bring the shadows down a little bit and then increase the highlights so, so a tiny little s curve there um and then we're going to add a color balance as well so color balance this is where you sort of change the uh the shadows and the highlights within the design to the colors of them so the mid-tones, I'm just going to reduce this down to minus six and increase this to plus six for the blues because obviously it's a blue design. You want it, you know, that to be the main color. Then we're going to go to the highlights and we're going to go to minus six again and then plus six for the uh, highlights. So now you've done that, if we turn this on and off, you'll see that it's added a slight little glow to the blue colors in the design. This is what we want. And now what we're going to do is we're going to get a hue and saturation again, put that on top and then reduce this to minus 15. Now that we've sort of brought all the colors together, adding all more blues in and stuff, we can sort of add a blur to this. So basically what you're going to need to do now, is you're going to hold command shift option E to make a screenshot. So you would have know that from the camera or filter that we do at the end. So once you've made your screenshot, what you need to do is go and go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. So once you get to the Gaussian blur, what you're going to need to do is add a uh, 10 pixels blur and it'll sort of make it like this you can reduce it a little bit if you find it too harsh so i'm going to do about 9.5 for this because i think that's sort of good uh, area to start you can always change it as well if you make it a smart object which i haven't done um but for now i'm just going to leave it but make it a smart object then you can change it down the road got a background i'm going to make it a smart object now now what we need to do is go back into our texture pack and go and get the calvert lewin image so this image is it's quite good quality you um don't really need to do a lot with it so we're going to have it about there and then we're going to reduce him down a little bit, maybe about there. That's good. So you want him in the shot, but you don't want him overpowering the stadium too much. You want to make sure he's in the middle as well of the design. So about there. Good. And now what we're going to do is we're going to start editing this image. So first things first, you want to add a new layer above him. Uh, clipping mask it to him. What we're going to do now is go to edit, fill, and then we're going to go to 50% gray here. Click OK. Now it's going to cover him in gray. Now what we need to do is go to 
overlay on the blending modes and then uh, what we need to do is start doing a dodge and burn tool so dodge and burn so you'll have burn which increases the shadows and then you'll have dodge which increases the highlights so now that we've done this we can uh, go to our dodge and burn tool which is here so is that one and then burn is this one i'm going to go for the shadows first and what you're going to see is once i start stroking in different parts of uh, the uh, shirt you can see that it's getting darker so if we go down his arm here, obviously I'm going to make this dark because it's not in the highlighted area. Uh, same with his shirt down here. So as you can see, as I'm painting in the different creases in his shirt, it's all getting darker. So once I turn this on and off, you will be able to see the difference it's made. Um, it might be a little bit hard at the moment, but once you, I do turn it on and off, you'll definitely be able to see the difference. Um, so we want to make all the shadow bits darker. You can definitely see it's making a difference on the shorts. All the creases, basically, you want to um, definitely include on those. Just because it, it's just going to enhance the design a little bit. Just... Uh, define it a little bit more and give it an extra edge so what you didn't have before um trust me it is worth it take your time with it because it is an integral part of this design it's one of the main focuses that i've did on my my uh, image of calvert lewin so i took a lot of time on it i made it good made sure i defined the right areas of him and basically made sure that it you know it represented um an accurate you know design done that now sort of gone in the shadows now if i turn this on and off you can see already that it's adding quite a significant shadow to it so this is what we want um it's good um and now we need to probably go in and add some more of the uh, highlights now we are going to add a sun in after this as well so we'll sort of talk about the highlights now so you want you want to follow the highlights that are already on the image so if there's highlights on the side of his face which like there is now you want to go over those highlights and sort of just you know intense intensify them a bit more make it all a little bit brighter and then same with his top here so if it's highlights there go over the highlights um because you don't want to make your own highlights if there's already some there for you you just want to follow along with the ones that are already there and then you can sort of make your own sort of design out of it it, ju it just makes life a lot easier really um instead of worrying about where to put your uh, light source and everything so really rough on the highlights here just enough to uh define different areas of it don't want to go too much into it because this is only a tutorial and i don't want to waste too much of your time so after doing that if i zoom out now can see he's a lot more defined so if i turn this off yeah he's great but if you turn it on you add that extra depth to the image so we've got that now now i'm going to go in and add my light source so if you go to your background layer what you need to do now is create a new layer and we're going to get our brush tool we're going to make it nice and big so about 2000 pixels is good maybe a little bit smaller so you can actually see the brush that's good uh make sure you got a white brush selected and then just go like that twice so you can click twice then you get a really strong light there so if you want to make it a little bit weaker just you know reduce the opacity a little bit but now you can see we've got a light source on the side of the design so it's obviously going onto his face and it sort of makes sense for where the light is on the design already. So uh, this is just pretty simple technique, really. You just need to follow the uh, highlights on the image. So we've got that done. Now what we're going to do is add an extra highlight layer on Dominic Calvert-Lewin. So create a new layer. And now this is going to be below your dodge and burn, but above the Calvert-Lewin image. Get a soft brush, get a really small soft brush, select a white. And now what we're going to do is reduce our flow down to about 20 percent we're just going to go around the edge of him so like this on, on only the bits that are highlighted and we're just going to add an extra layer of highlights what this does is uh, once you use the camera filter it will sort of um, show the different areas that you uh, have highlighted but also it just makes them look a little bit better um, once you actually get into the design like here as well you'll see what i mean once i use the camera filter but if i turn this on and off now you see it just adds an extra little bit of a glow so it just it just makes it a bit more interesting to look at um but as well it, it really does make the design look a lot more effective now in my previous design i had some smoke at the bottom here so where his shorts are and up the side i prefer it not to have smoke just because having smoke i think uh you lose some of the quality in the design so if you want to make smoke uh, go watch my kit swap tutorial so there'll be a link down below um i add some smoke into the cristiano ronaldo kit swap video um, so you'll be able to learn how to do it there, but I'm not going to do it for this video because I don't think it's necessary. It just sort of ruins the design. So now that we've got all this done, we're pretty much nearly there, guys. Um, what we need to do now is add some layer adjustments. So we're going to add a hue saturation on top of him, reduce this down to about 10% or 15%, and sort of mutes the colors a little bit. So about 10% probably do. You don't need to mute it too much. And then we're going to add a curves layer. So go to curves, and what you need to do with this, you need to sort of bring this one down, sort of follow the lines that are already there, um, and then we're going to go into the reds. We're going to move this one up a little bit, reduce it down, and then bring it up again. Same for all of these pretty much, guys. Bring it up a little bit, reduce it down, and up a little bit. Make a simple S-curve, and then we're going to do it again for the blues as well. Bring it up, 
down, S. So, simple technique for the curves, but it's very effective. So if I turn this off now, you can see it's obviously added that extra blue and red into the design, bringing out the colors a bit more, so making it nice and simple for you guys to follow along. So we've got all that done. Now what we need to do is add a screenshot and then a camera or filter. And then pretty much done, guys. There's not too much to this. Um, I don't want to keep you too long. If there are any extra things you want to do, it's probably the camera or filter. See, this, like this now, is probably good enough. You could add a noise layer over the top and you'd be done. But if you want to make it just that little bit better, just watch for the uh, camera or filter bit because that's really going to make it look a lot cleaner. So make a screenshot, Command, Shift, Option, E. You got your screenshot. Now, let's make this uh, a smart object. So if we don't like the camera or filter, we can go back and edit it. So let's go to camera or filter. And now here's where the magic begins. So depending on what style of design you want, you can bring it up to be a little bit darker, a little bit warmer. I'm going to go for a little bit warmer for this one just because I think, you know, it, it's, it's a passionate image. You don't want it cold. You want it, you know, warm and, you know, passionate. Bring the exposure up a little bit. Contrast, you can bring this up a little bit. Now this is going to be a little bit different to the poster tutorials that I'm, you're used to with me. Obviously I increase the contrast a lot and exposure and texture and all this. But with this one you have to be quite subtle um, just because it's not there's not too much going on in the design so you don't want to blow it out of proportion. But obviously keep the blacks and the highlights and the whites and all that stuff. Shadows, minus 30 and plus 30 like usual. Texture we're going to bring up to about 40. Uh, clarity we're going to bring up to about 20 or 30, about 25. Dehaze, probably about 10. Now I'm looking at this image, it looks quite saturated. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna bring the saturation down a little bit. Maybe the vibrance can go up a little bit, but I want this to be, you know, not like, I want it to look realistic. So I don't wanna blow it out of proportion. Curves, we don't need to do too much of this because we've already sort of played around with that before, but we can add a little curve, nothing major, but just enough to, you know, bring it out. Sharpening, I'm gonna bring this up to about 30. And then noise reduction about 10, color noise about 10 as well. Okay, so it's looking really nice so far. Um, color mixer, you can bring these up a little bit if you want more blue. I'm going to sort of go for a, you know, like a lighter blue because I think that really does make it look nicer. Um, so something like that, that looks really nice. Um, and you can see the passion of him and, you know, it, personally, right, if I'm going to be honest now, I think Everton's kit should be a light blue because it, it looks so much better. So when they had a few light blue kits a while ago, it just looks so much better and the dark blue, it doesn't really do it for me. Obviously, I'm not an Everton fan, but, you know, I don't know. It'd be nice to hear in the comments what you guys think. If you're an Everton fan, let me know. Um, and then with color grading, we're just going to go for a nice blue as well. So something like that. There we go. And then effects, grain. Going to add probably a 20 grain. And then a nice vignette, about minus 11. Uh, we can reduce the grain a little bit, actually, to about 15%. And that's, that's pretty good. So uh, we don't need to add too much more. Add a little bit of extra in there. And that's pretty much it, guys. So if we do a side-by-side -side now, you can see we've obviously brought the image together. The sun's come out. We've uh, The highlights look really good on his arm here, see? They look really strong, and especially on his face here when uh, the sunlight's coming through there. That looks great. Um, and basically, I, I think all the shadows and everything look great. So I think this is a really nice, fun technique for you guys. Uh, I'm going to click OK now. Um, and yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the video. I mean, it's a really, a really simple technique, but a really effective technique. So if you guys want to use it in, you know, any of your designs, go for it. This is a really simple technique for you guys to follow. And I think you'll uh, really learn from it, benefit from it. I've learned from it. So I've only just learned and started doing these now. So if you check out the Instagram down below, you'll see the stuff that I'm making with it. So, you know, send me it on Instagram. Let me know what you want, you know, what you think of it. And um, I'll get back to you. So, uh, yeah, guys. I'm going to stop rambling now. I'm going to let you go. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you for all the support. Make sure you smash that subscribe button. Hit the like if you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you next time.